guys, welcome back to Moment as Mixed Page. And I'm at the house of Kamya Rokhani because my dear friend Kamya Rokhani was at Fashion Parade. And do you know what? He met J. Alexander at New York Fashion Week. How freaking cool is that? So I have Kamya Rokhani in the studio. Well, not my studio today, it's his studio. And uh, let's welcome him on. Before we do, you guys don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you can be part of the Moment as Mixed Page family. And let's get started with Kamya Rokhani. Hi, Kamikins. Hello, hello. Nice Hi. to see you again. You too. What's going on? Uh, not much. I'm very excited about your, like, hearing all the stories from Fashion Parade. Yeah, I'm just back. I mean, literally jet lagged, but it's been the most exciting thing. I mean, A, Fashion Parade, goddamn, that Sadia Siddiqui woman is a dynamo to put she this together. Is... In eight months and get a venue like Christie's together. So it was an amazing experience just being in New York. Besides for just showing one's clothes to a Western audience because it was specifically for a Western mm -hmm. audience because usually we're always showing to the diaspora. So it's, you know, say Houston or Toronto or London where there's a lot of, you know, Desi community. Mm -hmm. This was specifically for the Western audience. So it was extremely exciting and uh, I have lots of tidbits. I can't wait for tidbits. But uh, speaking of that, like Sadia, when uh, last fashion week, she actually did a segment with me when she like told me all about uh, a fashion parade at Christie's and how she managed to get the venue and the whole... Yeah. I mean, that woman is... I I mean, like, I I've mean, seen her, but I mean, after speaking to her, she is I a doer. I think it's pretty incredible, not just a doer, but with the current climate and conversation like that, for somebody in America to be a Pakistani, Muslim, empowered woman, getting this kind of work done, I think really represents us in a And way. bringing Pakistan and India together in this climate. Positive way, like a showcase of South Asian designers. It was excellent. It was excellent. I mean, and your collection. Okay, guys, so this is his entire collection. This is one of my favorite pieces from the collection. So I told him specifically to have it on, on the, the mannequin. mannequin. I think Momina is going to wear it at some point. At it's, some point, it's I will. It's going to happen. I'm, I'm, With some coverage, of some course. Some coverage, of course. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. A little bit of coverage. A little yes. bit of coverage. It's, it's required. Yes, Otherwise, I'll have I, a fatwa. I I agree. I agree. <laughs> okay, diving in. I don't want to take up any more time. I want to know everything. So, go okay. Ahead. Well, you know, she called me a couple of months before. This was just now, uh, three weeks ago, and I immediately started getting very excited because we don't get an opportunity to show to a Western audience, New York City, Christie's. So I was like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? And I had stuff on my mind, and that was cultural appropriation mm -hmm. and how that's become a real trigger word. And yeah. I'm getting frightened of that. I don't want there to come a time where. Literally, I can't wear a kimono at home yeah. without somebody like throwing like a firebomb at me. Yeah. So I started thinking about how folk craft can be about commonalities because there's so many different things that we all use. Like, for example, applique, patchwork, mirror work. There's so many things that are in all cultures. So I wanted to do something that was a conversation between different cultures in terms of craft, in terms of textile, in terms of silhouette, to create something that was impactful and to create something that was international no and i think that kind of it you really were able to capture that in Thank my you. in my opinion that was the idea but, because i think that like i mean say something like this like i could see this i mean even if you want to put a bit of coverage to this outfit yeah. you could wear this as a kameez you could do but a then, shorter leg you can do it with a gharara you can do it yeah. with a straight pant but, and this is a blow up by the way of like a sindhi rilli yeah but if you look at it it looks south asian but it could also be african it yeah. could be south american so that was the idea. That's the whole idea. And even with this, right? right? Like, I mean, like, I, I don't know if you guys can see the ruffly, like the detail on it, like the pleated details. Well, I can now, show you. Yeah, please. It's basically, we took a gharara and made it into a trouser. Yeah, and it's a gharara. With side pockets. Well, that's amazing. Because imagine and, if yeah, you're dancing, you start a wedding. Thing, and then a very sculptural Japanese piece on top. Like this though I love, I think I'm going to wear this This was one point. of my favorite pieces because usually in South Asia we are so identified by our ornamentation mm. because everything is embellished. Yeah. But I wanted to sort of present the idea of the collection which is that conversation with absolutely no work. No work. And I, the boning in this is very, very, very Western. Well, you know, you know, and, and, the, and the silhouette of you it. You have to put your best face forward in terms of construction. Construction. I was very concerned that if buyers looked at it, I mean, it shouldn't look like it was run up by my darzi and yeah, my Yeah, exactly. I was just going to say darzi. You know? Achha, okay. 
कलेक्शन कलेक्शन सबने देख ली आई वॉन्ट नो द फन जूसी पार्ट वेल यू नो इट वॉज सो एक्साइटिंग बिकॉज राइट आफ्टर आर शो वॉज न्यू यॉर्क फैशन वीक एंड एट द शो आई मेट ऑल दीज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग पीपल सम ऑफ दीज वेरी कूल स्टाइलिस दिस गाय कॉल क्रिस वाइन हु वॉज लाइक लिटरली टैटूड फ्रॉम हिज आई बॉल्स टू हिज एंकल्स एंड ही वॉज अक्रॉस द रन वे एंड आई वॉज लाइक हु इज दिस गाय एंड आई वॉज वेविंग एट हेम एंड देन वी हैव दिस वेरी कूल पी आर कंपनी कॉल एजेंट्री पी आर विच वॉज रियली इनक्रेडिबल टू वर्क विद आई मीन द वे दिस गाइज वो going around with their headsets and getting stuff done was very exciting so at the Lawrence and Chico show we met the Miss J Alexander who was, who was very cool and approachable and hilarious uh, so we all got a picture together and uh, his friend took the picture and he didn't use a flash and he said did you use a flash black needs flash <laughs> <laughs> so he went on and on about how he needed a flash which was I hilarious i was really using that black needs black flash. needs flash so he was really funny and generally just to see the characters in the front row you know i mean if you think that somebody like ali zishan is really wild in pakistan they have about like 150 uh, ali, ali zishans, zishans in the front row you know there was a gentleman wearing a top hat with a huge feather coming out of it and there was this a uh, black dude with like dreadlocks that was sculptured like i mean hipsters galore and just people expressing themselves and really expressing themselves really sure. expressing themselves vanilla. i mean i had to amp myself up to seem less vanilla in fact one day i uh, you know basically took a huge block print bed sheet and just wrapped it around myself and threw a blazer over it just to look cool and it really worked out this guy came up to me and said is it from africa i said no <laughs> it's it's from south punjab south punjab so it was This you know it's blocking. nice to be able to represent and um and it's nice to get the right people to do the, the right yeah <laughs> the right people to get do the representing and so the I'm, right people i love <laughs> i love how you included i'm the right person Well, I, you know, no, you without really are, any you really sense of false modesty, I took <laughs> this responsibility quite seriously. That you know, it's not just about me; it's about Pakistan. It's like a platform for South Asian designers. We get to show at the on the world stage. So yes, I have to do well, but the show has to do well, and we have to project, project, project. So between all the designers who were there I felt Faiza Sami added this gravitas and she had the skill of many years and she was a mind uh, f- full of information and Ali added the flamboyance and the Indian element was nice because of, of the current climate it was nice to see that in terms of art and culture and design we get along we get along and people's responses was I mean it was incredible like you you know you're I mean everybody comes back and says it was really well received but like from backstage crew to the models to like the audience there were people were like wow I didn't think that this would be happening is this yeah. from Pakistan is is this embroidery is this fabric so there was so much curiosity yeah. and interest in our culture all of a sudden which I don't think that you know the news or articles can do it's like a personal thing that when one some looks at something which is visual and a garment and clothing which is something that everybody wears it kind of educates people about different cultures exactly. and that was amazing and see like for example like like you said even with this outfit I'll come back to it is that you're saying it's like you know it's like Cindy really mm. and if you blow it up it kind of is can be from anywhere Absolutely. and that is the beauty of design Absolutely. because design is so fluid Absolutely. and culture is so fluid that it i mean there's a reason why this i mean i did a real mash up if i'm to no, show, show me you a, few a things. bit yeah, more yeah for sure i mean this was my homage to like zina taman and bollywood so i called this the bollywood jumpsuit which is a really fun number and see now this is cindy really And this is like a chintz pattern, which guys, is. Guys, I hope you guys can see this. Which it's is a beautiful. chintz pattern, which is basically we were colonized for years, yeah. and so there was a lot of product that came out of the subcontinent, which was Europeanized. So this is that element, yeah. and then you've got your animal print, which is again like, how can you appropriate the tiger or the cheetah? Cheetah. It belongs to the world. world. So influences are. there there But for the world but you have always been like you've kind of always had i think your work has always been about this conversation right even with the orientalist for exactly. example it was the same conversation it was a conversation when you were taking that era and bringing 
like the Pakistani craft and the local craft and colors and all to it and it kind of just became a beautiful harmony of yeah I don't take the word global lightly people no. love to throw no, it around it's not supposed but to but if be. you're going to talk global and think global then you have to like layer different cultures together yeah. otherwise it doesn't work yeah. yeah but on that note I know that your adda walas are like standing there on my head and being waiting like, so so i know that this segment is coming out after fashion week but you are right we're right now recording it during fashion week time so his collection is yeah i'm working like I'm madly on bridal week so uh watch I hope this you guys have watch enjoyed. this space for more <laughs> yeah watch it for more and i and by the time this comes out you would have already seen the collection yes. i can't wait to see it well. but uh more on that later Anyways, Kavi, thank you so much for taking out the time and talking to me, me about uh, this wonderful collection. And I can't wait to order fun stuff from it. Of and course. I think that I'm getting something yeah. similar yes. for my wedding wear. Absolutely. And I hope you guys enjoyed this segment. Guys, it is very important to understand that discord is never the answer. There's never like you have to understand that regardless of what sentiment politically we have with our neighboring countries, with with the global environment, even it's always better to go out and experience it for yourself. And th that's the one thing that I think we should all take away from the segment with Kamya Rokni that how merging different cultures and bringing them all together can actually create harmony rather than discord. And that is one thing that I really truly believe in. And on that note, I'm going to let you guys go. Uh, please, you guys don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you can be part of the Moment as Mixed Page family and comment below and let me know what you guys thought. Until next time then, take care. <laughs>